I'm now joined by Lance Getze, the head coach of the Franklin Regional Panthers, as FR begins the Class 5A postseason bracket this weekend as the number nine seed traveling to number eight North Hills. First off, Lance, congrats on getting in. Now, I would imagine it was a little interesting heading into the final week of the regular season. You knew you were locked into a spot, and it seemed like you would maybe be upset for a little bit, but your team came roaring back late, two scores in the final two minutes. Was it challenging for the players going in, knowing that they really had nothing to gain in terms of the fact that you're already locked into the third spot out of your conference? Uh, I don't know if it was challenging. I think they said the right things. They believed that um, they understood that they wanted to start off the playoffs, going into the playoffs with a win instead of three losses in a row. Um, so um, I definitely feel like the kids understood what they had to do, but um, I'm not sure if we put together – the best week of practice leading into that, to that game. Well, you were able to find a way to make it work. So I would imagine you don't want to have to rely on a last second comeback and an onside kick and all that again. But was there some momentum that you could take forward the way that you won that game in dramatic fashion? No doubt. I mean, I think you'd take, take the, um, just the mentality of the kids at that point and the fact that they were, didn't want to give up and, uh, they felt the sense of urgency. We just want to feel that sense of urgency at the beginning of the game from now on. So courtesy of that 29-26 win against Armstrong, your team is now 7-3. and three. Now, you mentioned you did have a little bit of a skid prior to that. But overall, how did you evaluate how the regular season went? Um, ups and downs. I think we started off the season very well. Um, we were putting together, you know, some good games. But then I don't think we ever really, after that first couple of games, we didn't put 48 minutes together and all facets of the game. Um, if our offense was moving the ball, maybe our special teams or defense wasn't doing something. If our defense was shutting people down, maybe our offense wasn't doing something. So it's just finding a way to get all three facets of the game working together and you know, maintaining good field position, controlling the ball, um, limiting turnovers, um, and then creating some as well. Um, so putting that all together for 48 minutes is the key. Well, one person who's put it together all 48 minutes all season is Kyle Dupil. He must have had one of the best seasons in Franklin Regional history and one of the better seasons in recent memory in Westmoreland County for a running back as well. The fact that he was able to produce pretty much every single game start to finish, what does that say about the type of player he is? Uh, just some, uh, he's just really the key to our offense. Um, you know, he, when He's going to get something going every week. That's one person we could count on is going to get something um, with the credit of the offensive line and what they're able to do. Um, so we know what we're getting from Kyle. Um, we just got to be able to, you know, when we get down inside that 10, be able to finish drives. But um, what that kid has been just tremendous with um, seeing holes, finding holes, and creating yards after contact. Um, I don't know if I've seen anything better than that or coach anything better than that um, than what he's done this year. So you get the number nine seed, and as I mentioned, you go against number eight North Hills at Martorelli Stadium. How did the nine seed in that matchup align with what maybe you had anticipated going in? Um, pretty much exactly what we thought would happen. Um, we knew we were the eight, nine, somewhere in that area, um, and we figured North Hills would be right there. So we kind of expected that um, just because, you know, we both finished in third in our, in our conferences. So it's a team that you've gone against uh, recently. I, I know, obviously, they're a very talented program. What stands out about the Indians? Uh, just their aggressiveness. Um, those kids just very they, – they come to compete every game. Um, it's always been a good co um, contest between the two of us every year. So we're expecting nothing different. Um, Well-coached team, very disciplined. Um, they fly to the ball on defense and offensively. They're very sound, so – um, it's going to be a, a big challenge. I think most coaches would agree that this is a loaded bracket. So there's some real depth. It's not just one or two teams that stand above the rest. So this should be a really good matchup, 8-9. Often it's kind of the most even matchup on paper. Do you look at two teams that are pretty similar in terms of their overall ability? I do. I think we're both a little bit undersized for 5A um, up, up front. Um, nothing like Upper St. Clair has a huge line and some other teams, but I just think both teams are aggressive. And I think the things that we bring to the table, just the discipline and, and just the work ethic is uh, very similar. So I think it's going to be a great matchup. What are some of the biggest keys for the Panthers to get the win? 
finish drives, um, play some good special teams, control uh, the field position. I think that that's going to come down to a big part of it is field position. Lastly, I know getting to the postseason is special. You want to embrace that, but you also have to have a laser focus. So how do you balance as a coach – uh, kind of the the joy, the excitement, the nerves, the anticipation, everything that comes with uh, postseason football. Um, I mean, we've been in the postseason every year. I've been been here, so I think it's just something. Just the extra attention to details. Um, you're not facing somebody that's in your conference, so um, a little bit more film time. Um, and you know, at this point in the year, everybody's a little bit banged up, so monitoring how much you hit and practice all week, but still get accomplished what you need to is, is really uh, is key to um, having success on a Friday night. Well, it should be a great matchup. We are looking forward to it, Lance. Thanks so much, and congrats on the postseason appearance once again. Thank you. I appreciate it. That is Lance Getsy, the head coach of Franklin Regional.